Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my star piston door. So as you can see right here, it is closed and it looks like a star. <laughs> I tried to make it look like a star. And then when we click this button right here, our star piston door will open up. And then we could go ahead and walk on through. As you can see, you can't see any redstone whatsoever. Walk on through, click the button on the inside and it'll close up behind us. And then when we're ready to leave, obviously click the button again walk on through and then click the button on this side and close the star piston door up oh, so this is going to be a pretty difficult build guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut out the video here open up the entire thing so you can get an understanding of what the redstone looks like so you could be like you know what i'm not going to do this <laughs> so i'll be right back guys all right guys and we are back and here is the star piston door in all its glory without anything covering up so when we click the button here's how the redstone looks when it's working Click the button again while it's closing. And there you guys have it. So let's just do a little flyby. So if you really, really don't want to do this, this is what the redstone looks like. The whole top is only three wide on the top. And then obviously it gets a little bit fatter at the bottom. But we're going to start this thing right up, guys. So let's start building the star piston door. All right, guys. So for this build, we're going to need a 15 by 5 spacing. And we're also going to have to dig down four. So for this build, we are going to need one hopper. Oh, let me. So for this build, we're going to need one hopper, 16 sticky pistons, seven regular pistons, three droppers, 35 redstone repeaters, two redstone comparators, 10 redstone torches, a handful of redstone dust, one detector rail. We are also going to need two buttons, a lever, four pieces of sand, and we're also actually going to need a furnace as well. So get out a furnace. So we're also going to need a furnace. And then these are just my blocks of choice I'm going to be using to put my redstone down on. And then these are my blocks of choice for my door. I'm going to be using yellow and black stained clay. So let's start building this thing, guys. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to be starting off with is the double piston extension for the bottom of the door. Because that is actually the easiest part. All it is is a modified bottom extension for a 3x3 door. So what I want you to do is once you got your 15 by 5 spacing and you dug down your 4, come to the bottom left hand corner and count over 7 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 right here. And you know what? Let me take out a red block right here. We're going to delete this block and I'm going to put a block right here because this is our input block. Any power going to here will activate our door. We're going to put a piece of redstone dust here. So any power going to this redstone dust will activate our door. Remember, it's seven blocks from the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Any power going to this piece of redstone dust will activate the door. So what I want you to actually go ahead and do is just put a lever right here next to it off the front of it like this. So the dust is going this direction just so we can make sure everything is working while we're building this thing. Next, what I want you to do is put a block right in front of this dust and put a repeater coming out the right hand side like this on three ticks delay with a block in front of it then on the back side over here we're going to put a torch off this block and a torch off this block like this and we want these torches off for now so just switch your lever like that these this will turn off both of these torches next what i want you to do is the torch coming out of the input block right here we're going to go ahead and put a block right above it and put redstone dust on top of it like that next what we're going to do is put two blocks next to the right hand side of this dust so one two so it looks something like this Put a torch coming off the side of it a block down underneath the torch with redstone dust here so now it looks something like this then we're going to swing back to the front hand side this is going to be the front of your door right here back to the front of your door and we're going to go ahead and put another torch right here like that the torch will go off then we're going to put a repeater coming out of that off torch right here on four ticks delay next take out your double piston well <laughs> take out your sticky pistons and put a sticky piston right above this three tick delay repeater right here Oop. Sorry, go into sneak mode. Make sure you're in sneak mode while doing this. And then boop, boop, like that. So now we have two pistons like this. Make sure that's still on three ticks delay down there or else it won't work. Next, what we're going to do is put a block up next to this redstone dust right here with a sticky piston facing towards our other sticky piston like this and put a block in front of it like that. Next, put a block right above this off torch, well, this on torch, and then put a torch right here, and it will go off like that, and then put a sticky piston coming back towards these sticky pistons again, off this off torch like that, so it looks something like this, guys. Next, what we're going to do is swing back over here, and where this off torch is, we're going to put a block right above it, a block down from it, and put a repeater coming out of this block on one tick delay, so it looks something like that. Put a sticky piston on top of it facing towards the one tick delay repeater with a block in front of it. 
a block in front of your one tick delay repeater with redstone dust here swing back to the front hand side and we're going to come up two blocks right here so one two you could delete this block it's not needed put redstone dust up here a block down with a repeater going this way on four ticks delay with a block in front of it redstone dust right here next take out your blocks of choice and we're going to put three blocks of choice right above these so one two three like that this is going to be the flooring for our door as you can see it's flush to the floor and then we're going to come up a block right above this four tick delay repeater so just go into sneak mode like this and put a block right above it like that and then put redstone dust here next what we're going to do is swing to the backhand side right over here and then where this off dust is we're going to come out a block like this and put a repeater going this way on four ticks delay then we're going to put a block in front of this four tick delay repeater put a block to the left hand side like this and put another repeater here on two ticks delay and then we're going to put three blocks right here one two three put a sticky piston facing towards that sticky piston right there like this and then take out your detector rail and put your detector rail right in front of it like that and that should be our whole bottom double piston extension so if i flip down this lever right here i see it goes up but then pulls the block back down so now this is going to be the middle part of our star it's going to be this block right here and then when i flip the lever again it should retract it all and there you guys have it that is the bottom extension done now we're going to work on the left triple piston extension all right guys to get things started off with the left triple piston extension what we're going to do is swing back over here to the left hand side and where this on dust is we're going to put a piston right next to it it will go up and we're going to put a sand block on top of it next what i want you to do is come down a block right next to it and put a repeater coming out of this sand block like this on four ticks delay put a block up in front of your four tick delay repeater another block over to the left hand side of it like that with two pieces of redstone dust like this Next, we're gonna come down a block right here and put a repeater on one tick delay. Come down a block right here and put a repeater on four ticks delay. This will create a small little pulse extension for you real quick. Next, put two blocks up in front of them. One, two, we can delete these blocks if you want to, but it doesn't really matter. And then put redstone dust right along these two blocks like so. Next, we're gonna do is right coming out of this redstone dust right here. We're gonna put a block up with a torch on top of it. A block on top of the torch and a torch on top of the block like that so it looks something like this right now guys now this is where things are going to start getting a little bit confusing so next what we're going to do is put a block right on top of this off torch a block to the side with redstone dust right here a block up next to the redstone dust like that and then we're going to take out our sticky pistons and put three sticky pistons facing towards our door so one two three like that and we're going to put a block of choice right in front of it like and you know what let's just fill in this whole side right here so just come up three block uh two blocks here one two so there's three blocks and then come up one more like that just for now so let's just fill in our door so it looks like that right now next what i want you to do is come back over here where this dust is going into the back of our sticky piston right here and we're going to come under one block like that delete that block and we're going to put a repeater coming out of this block with dust like this on four ticks delay put a block in front of it and that will pretty much extend our last sticky piston and also keep it on a pulse so then it will you know stay out longer to retract our middle piston right there next put some dust right on top of this block right here make sure these two are not connecting so put another block like this so the dust back here is not connecting to that redstone dust come up another block put redstone dust on top of this block then we're going to need a slab here so go ahead and take out your slabs oh i forgot to tell us to take out I forgot to tell us to get slabs we're going to need at least four slabs for this build guys so one two three four i completely forgot to tell you to take out your slabs but next what we're going to do is pretty much i just like coming up a block like that and then put a slab upside down right here with redstone dust on top of it put a piston facing upwards off this dust like this with a sand block on top of it like that then a block over with a repeater going this way on two ticks delay put a block in front of your two tick delay repeater a block over i'm pretty sure this one's actually going to be a block of choice right here so take out your blocks of choice and put a whatever color you're using right here i'm going to be using black so i'm going to go like that real quick yeah this is going to be definitely our block of choice so put a block of choice like that and then put another one over here with redstone dust along both these blocks like so next what we're going to do is come back to this off torch over here and we're just going to put a block like this next to it boop put some redstone dust here come out two more blocks one two put a repeater going this way off the redstone dust on one tick delay with more dust in front of it 
and a block in front of that. Now that should be our whole extension for our middle sticky pistons right here. So if you go ahead and take out your lever, well, actually we use it over there, but eh, just get another lever, who cares? Levers are easy to make. <laughs> put our lever right off this redstone dust right here, anywhere if you want to. So I'm just gonna go like this and put some, uh, put our lever right there and we flip down our lever. As you can see, it fully extended there. It fully extended there. And now all we have to do is just the retraction. So as you see right now, it looks like that. And now we're just gonna have to put our retraction in. All right, guys, so the retraction for the triple piston extension is going to be the hardest part for this side. So if yours is not doing this right now, then you did something wrong and you're going to have to fix it. But to start on the retraction, what we're gonna do is come over here to this off torch and we're gonna put a block like this and put a piece of redstone dust like that. So it looks something like this right now and we don't want these connecting right here. So what you're gonna do is put a block right here to disconnect them. Next, we're gonna do is put a block right next to this off dust. Then we're gonna put a torch coming off the side of the block like that with a block on top of it like this. Oh, no, like that, there we go. <laughs> and then put a piece of redstone dust on top of this block as well and it will come on. Now we don't want these connecting either. So we're gonna put a block right here to disconnect those two as well. Next, what I want you to do is right next to the block with the redstone dust on it, we're gonna put a piston right here facing upwards with a piece of sand on top of it. This will create a falling edge monostable circuit. And then we're gonna put another block next to it with a repeater coming out of it on one tick delay. And then right inside here, we are gonna be able to see this, this block right here. So put a block of choice here and here like that. And then right underneath this nice little archway of a two tick and some dust, we're gonna put a repeater going that way right here on one tick delay and then we're going to put a block in front of it like this so you won't be able to see it right now but if we swing over to this side now we can see that one tick delay repeater and then we're going to put some redstone dust here but we don't want these connecting as well so we're going to put a block right here to disconnect them like so so it looks something like that so make sure you get that one tick in there because you can't put it back in on this side it has to be put in from this side over here Next, what we're going to do is swing back over here and where this redstone dust is going down this nice little line, we're gonna go ahead and put a block up right in front of it with a torch to the side. Then put a block on top of the torch, a block on top of this block and put two pieces of redstone dust going this way like that. Then we're gonna put another piston facing upwards with sand on top of it. This will create another falling edge monostable circuit. Put a block down from there with a repeater going this way on four ticks delay put a block up in front of the repeater, a block down, and then put another repeater coming out of this block right here on two ticks delay, like so. Put a block in front of it again, and then a block down on top of this sticky piston right here with redstone dust like that. Next, we're gonna come back up here to this block, put another piece of redstone dust here, put a block above this two tick delay repeater like this, delete this block right here, and put a repeater coming out of this block on four ticks delay. Next, put a block in front of your four tick delay repeater, a block down next to this redstone dust right here and here, delete the middle block and put redstone dust here as well. And that should be our whole retraction. So if I flip down this lever, it'll fully extend. And then when I flip it up, it will fully retract. So if yours is not doing this, you did something wrong and you're going to have to go back into the build. All right, guys, so before we move on, I actually forgot to put two pistons down here. And I also, we need to change this block to a block of choice. So we wanna kind of keep the dooring the same color. So just delete this block right here and put your same colored block here with some redstone dust like that. And then we're gonna put in the two bottom pistons that I forgot to do. So delete this bottom block right here above this sticky piston and put a sticky piston right above this off torch right here, like that. And then put a block in front of it. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna have a block up right here and just come out two more blocks. One, two, delete this middle block and put a sticky piston facing this way, like so. And to get this one activated, what we're gonna do is come back down over here where this torch is. See that where that off torch is? We're gonna go ahead and put a piece of redstone dust coming out of that off torch. Next, put a block up right here next to this one tick delay repeater with dust here. So see how it's coming off out of that off torch and then the dust is coming up and up. Put a block in front of your uh, dust right there with a torch on top of it. A block on top of the torch. A torch to the side of the block like this. And then a block up next to this off dust. So right now with everything hooked up to each other, this should double piss and extend and this should open up for just, well, this shouldn't double, this actually shouldn't triple piss and extend, sorry. But this should come up right there. So if we click down this lever, as you can see that goes up and the two side blocks come out like that. 
and then when I flip it up, then that should triple piss and extend when I flip up the lever. So, boop. So if your build did not do that, then you made a mistake and you are going to have to go back into it. So if it did not do this, or these two came up like this and made a nice like kind of looking Zelda shape, kind of looks like the Zelda Triforce. <laughs> and then when you flip it down, it should triple piston extend like that. All right, guys. So last but not least, we have to do the right hand side, which is just a double piston extension and another little easy regular triple piston extension not like it won't retract or anything it's just a very easy triple piston extension so to start off the right hand side what we're going to do is facing the front of our door just come to the right hand side and right off of this redstone dust right here we're going to put a block coming out of it with a repeater going this way on four ticks delay next we're going to put a piston facing upwards here so take out a regular piston and put a piston facing upwards with a sand block on top of it like this that will create a mono stable circuit then coming out of the back of it right here, we're going to put a block like that. And then coming out of the sand block, we're going to put a repeater on one tick delay. Put a block in front of our one tick delay repeater like this. A block right above the one tick delay repeater like that. And put two pieces of redstone dust like that. So it should look something like this right now. Next, what we're going to do is put a block coming out of this block right here. And put a repeater coming out of the redstone dust going this way on one tick delay. Put a block up in front of your one tick delay repeater put redstone dust on top of it a block next to the redstone dust and then we're going to go right here and put a pit three pistons facing this way so take out your regular pistons and put three regular pistons facing this way so one two and three like that that's going to be the triple piston side for this side next we're going to do is come down a block right here and over and put a repeater going this way on one tick delay with a block in front of it so just put a block right in front of it a block down and then coming out of this block we're going to put a repeater going this way on two ticks delay with a block in front of it and that will be the whole triple piston side for here all right guys so now all we have to do is just add three blocks of choice to this side so right in front of this piston we're going to go one two three like that so now if i flip up that lever our whole bottom side of our door should be closed so click up this lever our whole bottom side of our door closed as you see right here is the star and then when I flip it up, that should push it back over. So flip up the lever and it should push everything back over. So if yours is not doing that right now, so if yours is not doing this, whoop, and then you flip it down and goes back in, then you did something wrong and you are going to have to go back. All right, guys. So all we have left to do is our double piston extension for our top right here for the top part of our star door. So why don't you do a swing back over here to the backhand side. And what we're going to do is right off this dust, come up a block like that, and then come over a block and put two pieces of redstone dust here. One, two, put a sticky piston facing upwards off this block right here with a block on top of it like that. Next, what I want you to do is take out your half slabs and put a half slab right here next to this piston so we don't cut off this redstone. Put a piece of redstone up here with two blocks going this way. One, two, with a repeater on one tick and a repeater on two ticks like that. Next, what we're going to do is right above this redstone dust, we're going to take out our furnace. So go ahead and take out your furnace and put a furnace right here and put one item inside that furnace. It doesn't really matter what item you put in there. I'm just going to go ahead and put in my detector rail, whatever. Just put one item inside this furnace like that. Next, coming off this block right here, we're going to come out two blocks, one, two, and put a comparator going this way. And then a repeater going this way out of the comparator on one tick delay. Next, what I want you to do is put a block right in front of this two tick delay repeater right here. So put a block right in front of your two tick delay repeater with some redstone dust here. And this is where the start of our double piston extension is going to go. So right above these three blocks, as you see, we have three blocks right here. We're going to go ahead and put a sticky piston off this block right here, right here, and then put a block of choice in front of it like that. So it looks something like this. Next, we're going to swing back to the backhand side again, and we're going to go ahead and put two blocks right above this tech, uh, two tick delay repeater. And this one take the layer repeater so go into sneak mode and just put two blocks up like that and then put dust right along both these blocks like so next swing back to the front hand side again and put a block down right over here with some redstone dust like that then we're going to come down a block and put a three tick delay repeater coming out of this block like so do not put any blocks in front of this three tick delay repeater or else it will ruin this bottom extension right here so just leave it like that Next, what I want you to do is swing back over to this side and where this redstone dust is, we're going to put a block down right here. And next to this one tick delay repeater, we're going to put another one tick delay repeater going this way 
with a block of choice in front of it. So my block is going to be black stained clay. So go ahead and put a block of choice right in front of it like that. Now that should be our whole double piston extension right there. So if we click down our lever right here, boop. As you can see, it double piston extended the block to this corner right here. So if yours does not look like this, there should be three blocks, kind of like the Triforce, the three in the middle, and then one right up here like that. The block is supposed to be here, but don't worry, once we're finished, it'll be over here. So if your block did not go to this spot right here, though, you did something wrong. And then we're going to flip down this lever again, and it should retract all our blocks, except for this one, because we are not done yet. So to get this block completely retracted, what we're going to do is come back over here where this three tick layer Peter is in this dust. And we're going to come out a block right here with more redstone dust, put two blocks right above this comparator and this repeater right here. So one, two, put a repeater coming out of this dust right here on four ticks delay like that. Put a block in front of your four tick, a block over to the side. And then coming out of this block, we're going to put another four tick delay repeater like this with a block in front of it and redstone dust down like that. And that should fully retract this block now. So if I flip down this lever, it gets retracted to the corner and pulls it back. And then if I flip it down again, it gets fully retracted. See how it's getting fully retracted now? That's what we want. And then last but not least, what I want you to do is swing back over to this backhand side again, take out your block of choice and put a block of choice right in front of this one tick delay repeater that's coming out of this comparator like that with redstone dust on top of it. Next, we're going to take out our slabs and we're gonna put a slab right here next to this four tick delay repeater upside down with redstone dust on top of it like so. Next, coming out of this redstone dust, we're gonna put a sticky piston facing downwards. So go off the redstone dust right there like that and put a sticky piston facing downwards with a block of choice in front of it like that. And uh, that should be... And that should be our entire door completely done. So when I flip up this lever right here, as you can see, it fully extends out. Now we have our nice looking star and we can go ahead and clean this up actually. So you can put a block right here, leave this spot open right here and we can put some blocks right up here and a block. Nope, that's it. So there's our whole entire star door, star door done. And then when I flip down the lever, boop, it completely opens up and you are done guys. Now all we have to do is just add our buttons in, but before we add our buttons in, I just want to add a little barrier around this whole little side. So do, 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 do like this, just so the door looks actually decent when it's uh, opening and closing real quick. So we're just going to go ahead and put some uh, blocks of choice right around here like that. And then we're going to put some inside here as well. So do, 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 do. All right, guys, so let's just look at the door one more time when it's closed. So boop, here's what it looks like when it's closed. And then this is what it looks like when it's opening up. All right, guys, so now we want to add in our button because we don't want to be using a disgusting lever all the time. So let's delete our lever right here and we're going to go ahead and put in our button. So to put in your button, what we're going to do is come back down here where our dust is. So the first thing we are going to do is put a block up next to this redstone dust with a block on top of it and then come out another block this way. So it looks something like that. Put a repeater going this way on one tick delay and then put a comparator going into that repeater like that. Next, what we're going to do is build a quick silent T flip flop. So we're just going to put two blocks like this, put a dropper facing upwards behind this comparator, put a hopper going into the side of this dropper like this, put a dropper facing towards our hopper like that, and then put a dropper facing downwards into our hopper like this. And now create a silent T flip flop. And then you can go ahead and put any block or item in there. Just put one item in there. So let's just throw the blue, blue stain clay in there. So as you can see, our door just activated. Now, if I put redstone dust right above this dropper right here with a block on top of it, and then a button on top of the block, we can click this and it will open up our door. We'll close our door. And then if I click it again, it will open up our door. There we go. Now we want our inside button. So to do your inside button, what I usually like doing is going to the inside and then on the left hand side, go two blocks in from your door. So there's one block. So one, two with a button right there. Next, we're going to put two blocks coming out from that button. So one, two like that. So if I put some redstone dust right here and here and click the button, the redstone dust comes on. And then we're going to put two blocks going towards that dust right there. So one, two. And so it doesn't mess up with anything in here. We're just going to put two repeaters going this way towards that redstone dust. So now our button on the inside should be working. So if I click the button right here, the door closes, 
click the button again and the door opens up now if you want to move your button anywhere else just remember this top of this redstone dust right here will activate your entire door so you know you can move it this way you can put a repeater on top of this dropper like this Ooh. come on stop it <laughs> put a repeater on top of this dropper right here and literally you could just bring it anywhere you want to you know you could bring your button all the way down here if you want to now do 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 do, do like that and we can go ahead and put a button over here if we really wanted to see Ooh like that so if you want to move your button that's your input right there but there you guys go that is how you build my entire star door if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys <laughs> peace